So hi everyone, welcome back to Data Science in Your Pocket. And Alibaba Group has again released a breakthrough model that is Tongya Research Labs Deep Research Model, which is a 30 billion model and which has beaten every existing deep research model right now, be it OpenAI, be it Gemini and whatnot. As you can see on my screen, these are the benchmarks where the top leader that is Tongya Deep Research has overthrown everything, including OpenAI models as well. Be it simple QA, Frames, XBench Deep Search, Jia, WebWalker QA, BrowseComp. On BrowseComp, this one, I think it is not, it is at the second position, else it is leading the charts everywhere. It's a very strong LLM and it has been open sourced also. So let's deep dive into the details of the model and then towards the end we will see how to use it. So what is Tongi Deep Research? Fully open source research agent from Alibaba's lab. It competes with OpenAI's deep research model. It is a web agent that can plan, reason, dig into multiple sources. It is just not spitting out text. Do remember that it is an agentic model and it has 30.5 billion total parameters out of which 3.3 are activated per token. That means it is a mixture of experts model. Benchmark performance, we have already seen that. So we'll be skipping this slide. What are the key features? I think data synthesis at scale. It can generate massive synthetic data sets to train the agents. Full pipeline training. I think continual pre-training is there. Then supervised fine tuning and then reinforcement learning all adapted for agents. Automated data generation is there and then continual pre-training, large scale training on agentic data. What are the training recipe? So they have taken the base Quinn series base models, then went with agentic CPT stage one, that is continual pre-training, then stage two. Hence they have increased the token size. If you can see 32K was the first one, 120K K is the second one. Then they went with supervised fine tuning and then agentic reinforcement learning. This is a little complicated. So I'm not jumping much into the details of this slide, but this is just to give you a brief. There are two modes present. One is a react mode that is thought, action, observation. So you must be knowing the react prompt engineering technique. It's quite similar to that. No prompt engineering is required. Shows base model capabilities and 128K context length is present. While for more complex tasks, there is a heavy mode also that is called as an iter research. It reconstructs worst space each round and it is a multi-agent synthesis capability. So there are two modes that you can try out with the model. Real applications. Real world applications. So there are two agents that are already existing. One is Gaute Mate and Tongi Firui. As you can see, one is an AI co-pilot for maps that has been released. And another is a junior lawyer-like system that is using this particular model. So it's very, very strong. Why it matters? I think obviously, yes, it's one of its kind of a model that has been released that is beating out the closed source releases like OpenAI or Beat Gemini. Data quality beats algorithms anytime. Stable data loop. Explicit research actions built for decisions and memory management and open source alternative. That's the biggest part. It's open sourced completely. What are the limitations? I think 128K context length is still not that huge, I would say. It hasn't been tested on huge scale, that means like GPT-4 side scales yet and reinforcement learning efficiency can be improved. What are the closing thoughts? Not about being a better chatbot, but turning LLMs into proper research assistants. Now they are getting trained as an agent. You are not creating LLMs now, you are training them to be agents. So this is the whole crux of the entire research. And this model would be is trending on hugging phase 2. Do try out the model once you get a time. So now let's jump onto the GitHub repo before closing this up. So as you can see on my screen, this is Alibaba NLP Deep Research repo. And here you can see the download links present. These are the benchmark numbers and how to get quick start. You just need to create an environment. You need to get clone this repo and pip install the requirements. And then here you have given the run the inference script that is bash run react infer. That's it. You would be able to run the model quite easily in your local system. I don't have this much of a GPU that is to run a 30 billion model. Hence won't be able to run this, but looks to be a crazy, crazy innovation. And you should definitely try this out. I hope you try out the model and let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much.